Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to play? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely bottled it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective other than their penchant for animal skins, but one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their job, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsor. 